Some business owners fear that the situation will leave them with no prospect to return to normal. The situation is far worse for small businesses that are renting property and required to honor their lease agreement with the landlords. Some of them are running out of stock and with the major supply disruption for goods coming through the national borders, the future looks bleak. The shops are empty, no business, even we don't have that stocks because the flights are closed, borders are closed, the stock is not coming. So far, a number of businesses have closed down and there are those planning to close as of next week. In the business after lockdown, but then nobody interested to the this one in the coming for buying anything. No power, no money in there. In the every people, he going back, but I don't afford like that. How can I pay this one the rent? Tourism-related business owners explain that the crisis they are currently experiencing requires a quick thinking in the face of uncertainty, as they mostly depend on tourists. The tourism, unfortunately, there is also no income. And at the moment we are fighting and producing masks for the local market and to keep our seamstress occupied and we don't want to retrench them and we want to carry on and just are biting the bullet, as we say, to keep going. Efforts to revive locals to visit tourist sites through the opening up of National Travel May as one of the ways the government intend to support the tourism sector, but only time will tell if it can rescue the sector. As for most businesses renting, their owners are pleading to the government to help those who currently cannot afford to pay rent.